we just heard, you know, bullets hitting and we just ran. Highland Park, July 4th, 2022. And that's when I grabbed my son. I ran around the corner and I put him in a dumpster. A gunman hiding on a rooftop along Central Avenue used a semi-automatic rifle to fire on the Independence Day parade crowd, killing seven people. I hate to say it, but it's, the, it's probably the worst day of my life. And wounding dozens of others. Our team activated code yellow, which is for mass casualty and trauma response. Highland Park Police and numerous federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies are searching for the suspect. As this is an active situation, and we urge everyone to remain indoors. 21-year-old Robert Cremo III was arrested after a manhunt that lasted eight hours. He was charged with 21 counts of first-degree murder and 48 counts of attempted murder. There are no words for the kind of evil that shows up at a public celebration of freedom hides on a roof and shoots innocent people with an assault rifle. That shooting punctuated a six-week period in which mass shooters using semi-automatic weapons killed more than 40 people. He was laying on the ground. He went and reloaded. And he shot my mom again. In Buffalo, New York, Uvalde, Texas. And this is so sad, dude, that he shot kids, bro. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Police say that Lewis had an AR-15. And Highland Park. If you look at a lot of the horrific mass shootings, there is one sentence that remains consistent. The shooter obtained the AR-15 legally. So why not remove the common denominator of these horrific tragedies and try to do something about it? I have no political ties. I'm not a part of any party. In the aftermath of the Highland Park shooting, Kitty Brantner became an accidental advocate. I'm just a mom who's pissed off. Enough is enough. She launched a group called March 4th. Demand action now. That marched on Washington. Not one more. And successfully lobbied the U.S. House of Representatives to pass a ban on semi-automatic weapons but the measure died in the U.S. Senate, where there was no support from Republicans. Now she's supporting the effort to ban semi-automatic weapons and high-capacity magazines in the state of Illinois. We have to try everything, right? Ultimately, we know that guns do not respect state lines. The District of Columbia and eight states ban semi-automatic weapons, and State Representative Bob Morgan says it's time for Illinois to be the ninth. Assault weapons are designed to kill multiple people, exponentially more people, and they're finding their ways into our communities more and more throughout Illinois. It's time to do something about it. He has proposed a 70-page bill that would ban future sales of assault weapons, raise the minimum age to purchase a gun to 21 years old for most residents, ban high-capacity magazines, those carrying more than 10 rounds, establish statewide gun trafficking strike teams, and expand the red flag firearm restraining orders to one year. There's a ton of constitutional questions. Incoming House Republican leader Tony McCombie opposes the legislation. Anytime that you're going to restrict sales, manufacturing, ownership, uh, those have, we've, we've learned through the hearings that those have been, uh, throughout the nation, have already been contested and, and thrown out. It puts every gun owner, almost every gun owner, at jeopardy, in jeopardy because uh, it immediately renders standard capacity magazines. Uh, single possession is a misdemeanor. Uh, two, second possession or possession of two is a felony. Camouflage Cerakote is chambered for hunting in 300 blackout. Dan Eldridge is the owner of Maxon Shooter Supplies in Des Plaines. This has the action of, a, of an AR rifle. He says the proposed bill is unconstitutional. What are the major trouble areas of this legislation that you see? Uh, well, you don't get to do this anymore. The Supreme Court reset the table last summer with the Bruin decision. Last summer, the U.S. Supreme Court decided the Bruin case. New York State gun owners challenged a century-old law that had given local officials wide discretion over who can carry a handgun. The gun owners sued Kevin Bruin, who was then the superintendent of the New York State Police. The court decided that New York's restrictions were unconstitutional and established strict scrutiny, the highest form of judicial review, as the new standard for all Second Amendment cases. This entire bill 
is in defiance of the U.S. Supreme Court. The way that we designed this legislation, the Protect Illinois Communities Act, is essentially to close the front door. It's to ban future sales. But the U.S. Supreme Court recently sent an assault weapons ban in Maryland back to the lower court with instructions to apply the justice's broad interpretation of the Second Amendment. Supreme Court cases on this subject. Governor J.B. Pritzker says the Illinois bill has been well vetted to pass constitutional muster and he plans to sign it. We are going to work on passing an assault weapon ban. The proposal would make illegal the manufacture, possession, delivery, sale, and purchase of assault weapons, 50 caliber rifles, and 50 caliber cartridges. The bill provides a specific list of guns defined as assault weapons. Semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15 are among the best-selling guns in America. One-third of mass shootings include the use of an assault weapon, and 40% involve high-capacity magazines. Incidents involving a semi-automatic weapon or a high-capacity magazine result in twice as many deaths and 14 times the number of injuries. Uh, can you see why they would be focusing on semi-automatic rifle, rifles in particular? I think they're focusing on these because it's an emotionally driven topic. Um, when you're a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. When you're a legislator, every problem looks like a reason for more legislation. The goal of these items is to make sure we're keeping dangerous weapons from those who shouldn't have them. Last month, Morgan held a series of three public hearings. We ran through bullets starting all around us in every direction. We ran around and over pools of blood. The gun owners are tired of being blamed for every madman, every criminal, and every other depraved act that 2.5 million gun owners didn't do. Under the proposal, semi-automatic weapons that were purchased legally and owned prior to the proposed legislation would have to be registered with the Illinois State Police. These weapons exist in Illinois by people who legally purchase them and possess them. And we want to reflect that. We want to appreciate that, that people were following the law when they purchased these weapons, and they will get to keep them so long as they register them with the Illinois State Police. Critics of weapons bans say all they do is restrict lawful gun use and that criminals will not follow them anyway. For example, Illinois red flag laws and Highland Park's municipal ban on assault weapons did nothing to prevent the 4th of July massacre. In what way are law-abiding gun owners in Illinois responsible for the deranged acts of a, of a criminally insane person? But to Kitty Brantner, the accidental advocate, those questions pale in comparison to this one. I went into this just wondering, why do we allow weapons of war on the street? There just isn't a real answer. In Chicago, Mike Lowe, WGN News.